What is up Sailor Guardians? My name is Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my Sailor Moon YouTube channel or today this is my Japan haul YouTube channel. I recently got back from this amazing trip to Japan so that I could go to the Sailor Moon Museum and see the new manhole covers. More on that in a future video. And while Sailor Moon is my number one, it is my Ichiban, it is the number one thing that I go to Japan for. There are always other pop culture fandoms that I have loved since I was a little kid. Those include Final Fantasy, Nintendo, Harry Potter, and most recently is Mofusan, which I am, I love Mofusan. Everything about Mofusan I'm obsessed with. I would have an entire room dedicated to Mofusan if I didn't have a room dedicated to Sailor Moon. <laughs> So today I'm going to show you all of the goodies that are non Sailor Moon that I had picked up from Japan. Now most of the items today are from a few different stores so I will be separating these out based on where I got them from and I believe most of these items are also only available in Japan. Which one should I get started with? Ooh, I think I'm gonna get started with the Ghibli items. How about those first? So since I was in Osaka for the Sailor Moon Museum, I also had the opportunity to go to this really big Studio Ghibli store that is down in the Parko Shimbiashi Mall, which is very close to a train station out in Osaka on one of their main train lines. Ever since I discovered this store, I've wanted to go there and have it be a destination whenever I go to Japan because the store is amazing. If if you love Ghibli like I do, I love most of their movies, then you would love this store. So let's go ahead and take a look at these items that I have sitting on my table. This was not actually purchased at the Ghibli store. My friend picked this up from the new Ghibli park. So she had the opportunity to go to the park while I was out there and she gave this to me on my last night in Japan, which I thought was the sweetest thing. It was so cute. So she gave me this awesome No Face Omamori. Uh, no Face is my favorite character from Spirited Away. So this was perfect for me. I loved it so much. And I just love that it's something that's really, really special that you can only get in Japan. This is really beautiful and it's definitely gonna go in my tech studio. Now from the store, I picked up this really cute Totoro. It's like a purse. It's like a little drawstring bag that you can put on your back pack if you wanted to. This is perfect to use as a Pasmo case. For example, if you use a Suica card in Japan while you're in Japan or a Pasmo card, you can just slot that in there and then pull this to scan it whenever you're going through the train station. I love having these on hand. It's always nice to have extras. There's also plenty of room inside here for any coins. It's such a cute little plushie and I just thought it was adorable. So obsessed, had to have it. I got myself one of these really cute little fluffy keychains, a little key holder of Totoro. Not too much to say here, it's pretty simplistic, but I love little felt items like this. I think they're so cute. I have to use them. Also, I have been collecting these really beautiful pins from the Ghibli store whenever I go out there. So I got this one with all these cute little Kodamas. I love these little Kodamas. They're some of my favorite characters from Princess Mononoke. They're so adorable. And I love that there's glitter in the leaves and the flowers on this pin. I also got this one of Totoro and a little baby Totoro with this these glittery pink flowers. Super cute for the springtime definitely gonna put these on a purse. This item is from a blind bag. I actually got a few of these blind bags and then just stuck them all in this one box to conserve some space when I was coming home because I only had one carry-on. So here we have a little rose gold. This is a stone. This is like a, a stone material, uh, but this is a rose gold version of Totoro. I also got this little yellow one and an opalescent one which kind of reminds me of a moonstone. How perfect. I have a few more of these and I love putting them like in my crystal garden or in my plants. So that is just a little piece of geek or nerddom throughout my household. So these are magnets that could go on your fridge or wherever you wanna put them. So we have the magnet on the back and then on the front, for this one, we have Mononoke's mask, of course. We have this god or goddess wolf. She's so pretty. She's so cool and mystical. I love her. I also got the deer or the elk. I don't remember exactly what kind of animal he is. That guy was a trooper in the movie. And I was also able to get the forest god, the forest spirit. This one is really, really pretty. Such a beautiful piece. I feel like they're just little pieces of art and they're so pretty. 
so interesting and weird. Like you would really have to know Mononoke to know like, what are these? I love collecting dishware, but lately I've been trying to avoid anything that has to be hand washed because I'm adulting, I'm busy. This is one of those items that is stoneware and you can put it in the dishwasher. It can also go in a microwave. So this is a cute little tea glass, very, very simple glass. It's made out of, I want to say porcelain or something or ceramic. But this features a whole bunch of cute images of Totoro all along the edges. Now, the only reason I knew that this was dishwasher safe is because I was able to Google translate the box that it came in. I didn't keep the box. I decided to toss it for, for space in my carry-on. But there were a bunch of other designs and I almost picked out a Spirited Away one. And then I saw this one, which was a little bit bigger, but it was like the same price. So I decided to get to the Totoro one instead because I love my neighbor Totoro. Now, this was my most fragile piece that I purchased while in Japan. And I am hoping that it survived it was in a very, very heavy suitcase when I brought this on board. So hopefully it didn't crack or anything. It looks okay. I think it survived. Whew, that's good. Like they took it out at the store to show me it before I purchased it to make sure that I was purchasing an item that was okay. I don't, I don't think they allowed for returns of this item. But this is like a little window hanger. It can go in your window and it features Totoro kind of flying through the air on a very windy day. And there's a cute little crystal down at the bottom and a pair of suit sprites. I'll show you on my top down camera too so you don't have this busy background behind it. Okay, so here we have Totoro. He's got his umbrella. He's flying through the wind and he has a couple of kids clinging onto him, the two little girls. It's a very, very cute piece. Then we have the suit sprites right here and we have the crystal down at the bottom to kind of hold it hold it taut. This is a really, really pretty piece. Very beautiful and the colors are just lovely. I collect these. I have a lot of them now at this point. Most of them do not have characters on them, but this is a tenugui. It's a cotton like scarf looking piece, but these are often used for art. Like you can use them as a gifting item, like gifting material to wrap something in, or you can use them to lay out on a foyer table as decoration. You could hang them on a wall for decoration if you wanted to do that, but they are called tenugui. They're very, very popular in Japan. Um, I usually use these as decor, like decoration on my tables to kind of spread out, and then I'll change them depending on the time of year. So I have some for fall, I have one for winter, and now I have a bunch for springtime. So this is the tenugui that I picked out from the Ghibli store. This features Totoro. So we have a bunch of cherry blossoms kind of trailing down from the top, along with a few little suit sprites kind of flying down from the sky. Then at the very bottom, we have Totoro having this really goofy kind of derpy look on his face and some grass. It's very cute. It's very, very simple, which I love. So it's not super overcomplicating things if I do use this on a wall, but I just love it. I love how derpy he looks. Like that's my, that's my favorite part. <laughs> okay, so moving on, I also collected a bunch of items from a studio that I went to. And this was very exciting because I've been a fan of this since I was a small child and my mom first introduced me to it. This is how I escaped from bullies in middle school. So I went to the Warner Brothers studio tour in Tokyo the Harry Potter studio tour. And I did want to mention, even though I love Harry Potter and I have since I was a little kid, that does not necessarily mean that I align with the ideals of its creator. I realized that she kind of ruined it for a lot of people and she almost ruined it for me too. But ever since I was a kid, I always believed that you shouldn't let bullies delegate what you can and cannot like in your life. And that's kind of how I look at Harry Potter as well. She may have created it, but I don't think she'd be invited to Hogwarts. And as a Gryffindor myself, like honestly. <laughs> We don't like her. So as a believer in not allowing other people to choose what you can and cannot like, if you love Harry Potter, feel free to stick around for this section. If you don't wanna stick around for Harry Potter, then you can skip ahead to the next section, which is all about, ooh, what's next? Is it gonna be Mofusan or Final Fantasy? We shall see. Also, I could tell you horror stories about like people that created other anime, but we won't go there. <laughs> all right, so from the Harry Potter studio tour, which I have to say like as a content creator, being able to see how 
like Hollywood studios have created and developed movies from start to finish, be it lighting, which is something that I use here in my studio or audio engineering, it's fascinating. So I went in without knowing like exactly what this studio tour was about. I knew we'd see like real costumes from the movies and stuff like that. I didn't realize that there was so much work and passion involved from all these different people who worked on each of those movies. And uh, mad respect to folks who work on Hollywood movies because it is complicated. I am so grateful that my YouTube studio is not that complicated, but I do think it's really cool that they use a lot of the same brands that I use for things like audio and microphones and my lighting setup and rigs, like all that stuff. They use a lot of the same brands, which is great. Kind of lets me know that I'm working in a professional environment the same way that a lot of much bigger, bigger brands are as well. So the first thing I wanted to show you are a couple of tote bags. So this is a really nice, durable, thick tote bag. It is a canvas material and it is two-sided. So the front of it has the Harry Potter Studio Tour logo, of course. The back of it says, the wand chooses the wizard. And I love that saying, I love that quote, it's so cute. The other tote that I got is from, uh, there's a husband and wife team who do a lot of the illustrations for Harry Potter. They're called Mina Lima. And this was from the Mina Lima store, which was inside of the studio tour. This is two-sided as well. It's a really nice canvas tote. And I like that it doesn't like scream Harry Potter. It just kind of screams witch. <laughs> so we have the cauldron at the bottom and it looks like like spells kind of leaking out of the cauldron, which is really cool. When you go on the studio tour, you're able to stop and get some butterbeer, which if you've had butterbeer at Universal Studios or at the New York store or Florida or the Tokyo Universal Studios or wherever you might've gone, the butterbeer tastes different wherever you go. So I've had it in a few different places now, in three different places. And the one that I got in Japan was probably one of my favorite because it's not over sweetened. They do let you bring home the cup. They have a little washing station. So I was able to bring home this cup. I'll probably use it for a plant. I picked up just this cute little hair bow and a nice little hair band that I can wear for uh, my Gryffindor robe if I ever go to Universal Studios again. And even though this does not scream Harry Potter, I kind of like it that way. This is this really, really pretty cauldron, which I absolutely love because I'm also a big Halloween person. So I decorate like crazy for Halloween. Uh, I always have a witch theme, which was kind of inspired by my mom. She's also a big haunter, a Halloween haunter. So I thought this would be perfect on my cauldron table because I have like a potion slash spell table for all my different like cauldrons and witchy items. None of which is necessarily themed around Potter, but very much themed around like Wiccan and witch culture and stuff like that. Absolutely love these cute little stickers. These are pretty thick, nice durable stickers that have the logo on them. And I also picked up this really beautiful, it's like anime art of Harry Potter. Love these stickers. This is a really gorgeous piece of art from the same artist. I forget their name, but they have their designs in a lot of the Harry Potter stores. So this is just a simple notebook that I can use for taking notes or whatnot, but I love that it looks like a mature Harry Potter with Hedwig. Poor Hedwig. Hedwig is on the inside too, that's so cool. This is a very nice platform, nine and three quarters luggage tag. I really like the high quality feel of this. I feel like this would be wonderful to take on my bag when traveling, especially since these things tend to get some wear and tear after quite a bit of use. So it says this bag is traveling to Hogwarts. If found, please return to platform nine and three quarters. Now, if you go to the Harry Potter tour in Tokyo, uh, there is a store as you're going through the tour that is located right next to the train because yes, they do have a train. That store in particular does have some limited items that are only delegated to that store. So I would recommend going in that store and shopping around. And if you do see anything, just buy it in that store before you leave the tour, because you can't get back in. I also picked up a few different pins. We have the platform nine and three quarters pin. There's a butterbeer pin. I love that it's glittery and the logo pin for the Tokyo tour. Since I am adulting, this is just a very simple bottle opener that features the Harry Potter logo on the back and the butterbeer logo on the front. I really like the classic kind of European 
art that's included on the Butterbeer logo. I think it's very, very pretty. Brewed and bottled in the United Kingdom from the original Leaky Cauldron recipe. Ooh. And this item is an ornament. There are not a lot of ornaments to be found around Japan, so if I do find one, I'm definitely considering purchasing it. So this one was really cute. They usually have some kind of like limited store items that are only dedicated to that specific Harry Potter store, no matter where you are in the world. So I picked up this one from the Tokyo tour. It's an extremely, extremely soft material. I got this in a small, but definitely keep an eye on the sizing in Japan because smalls in Japan are notoriously a lot smaller than we get here in America. Uh, but this has some beautiful gold embroidery on the front of the logo for the Tokyo tour. And the back says Harry Potter Tokyo, Wizarding World. Very cute, I love it. I love that it's really heckin' soft so I can wear it like indoors and outdoors. It's perfect for the winter time here in Colorado. This was not necessarily something you could only find in Tokyo, but I'd never seen it in person before. Uh, however, I had considered purchasing it a few times, but this comes in a really cute like suitcase jewelry box. Even though I'm not a Ravenclaw, I love the diadem. Rowena Ravenclaw's beautiful beautiful crown i have the actual crown but i just love this piece of jewelry it's so shiny so pretty and i love wearing silver it looks like such a high quality piece so i may be a gryffindor but i can appreciate other house colors too this would match my dress <gasps> cute so this piece of jewelry is from a company called the carrot shop dot co dot uk and that's carrot as in like diamond carrots c-a-r-a-t it's sterling silver diadem necklace made in china and it was eleven thousand four hundred yen love me some tanuguis so this one i felt would go great on my halloween decor table when i bring that out in the fall this of course is the marauders map i solemnly swear that i am up to no good i'm never up to any good i love this map art i think it's absolutely gorgeous and i love that it kind of folds out so you have half of the logo for the Marauders map on the left and half of it on the right. And then it folds open as if you're actually looking at the map. I thought that was really cool. Such a nice little touch for a Tanugui. And since it is only a couple of different colors and it looks kind of aged, I thought it would look really nice and kind of blend in with my other decor, especially around Halloween time. And the last item I got from the Warner Brothers Studio Tour Tokyo, the making of Harry Potter, is this really cute souvenir book. So this kind of goes over like everything that you see at the tour, tells you about everybody that worked on it. It also gives you some insight into a lot of the items that you see there, like film effects in the Great Hall. So it's really, really interesting to look at. And again, as a content creator and as somebody who does a lot of production, for bigger brands, especially tech brands, I feel like this kind of content is very, very useful. So it's really nice to be able to look at it and see how they design their sets, how they lighted their sets, all that good stuff. I spent about four hours at this place and I won't give you a full review here. You're not here for that, but it's definitely a place I would go back to, especially because I like to read filmography information. And there's a lot of detailed uh, like text boards that kind of describe what you are looking at. And I didn't get a chance to look at a lot of that stuff. So I could easily spend another like six hours walking around that place and just looking at all the details. We're down to my last goodie bag. That didn't take too long, right? We saved the best for last. We have Mofusan. There's actually other stuff in here too, so I'll go through those things too. So first things first, I am obsessed with Final Fantasy, especially Final Fantasy VII. It was the first one I played when I was a little girl and it's the one that I go back to often, especially now that they have re-released it for PS5. So I want to play it as soon as possible. I haven't played it yet because I've been stuck in the middle of other games. So I'm trying to finish those first and then I'll move on to Final Fantasy. But here we have a very cute little mogul. He's so cute, this little moog. He's adorable, I love him, he's plushy. I also have a chocobo, so he will match perfectly when I set up this little moog right next to my chocobo. I also picked up this really beautiful and highly detailed key holder or keychain of Cloud's Buster Sword. So if you are a big fan of Final Fantasy, especially Seven, then you know exactly what this is from. This is nice, durable, heavy. I, I was really worried that this thing would get taken by security when I came home with it. 
because it looks like a knife, but I think it's obvious that it's a key holder and it's a fandom thing, so nobody really cared. But yeah, it's a really nice, durable thing. Don't throw this at people. I also hit up a lot of Gashapons, and this was one of the Gashapons that I got. This cute little mermaid, Ariel. She's adorable, I love her. She was the only one that I wanted out of this Gashapon machine, and there were like six different ones that you could get, so I'm so happy that she was my first pull. Yay! The Mofusan store lets you buy additional bags, and sometimes I really like to have these extra bags on hand, these cute little shopping bags, so this was one of the ones that I got outside of that larger bag that you saw already. This cute little one is... <sighs> So cute. This is something that like I would put in a binder to keep because the art is so adorable. Okay, let's take a look at the rest of these Mofusand items. So first we have this cute little blind box that I got of Mofusand dressed in a little fox outfit and then the fox outfit is so cute. I can't help myself. I love these little blind boxes of Mofuzan and they're always so adorable. So this was the newest one that I got. Uh, there's a couple of different versions that you could have gotten in this box. So luckily I got my favorite one. There were also a couple of, what are these, like mountain sheep or something? <laughs> and then you could have gotten a koala, a raccoon, and the fox. The last time I was in Japan was during the fall, so there was different stuff at the Mofusan store last time I went there. This time they had a lot of like springtime inspired items, lots of pastels, really pretty pinks and purples and blue hues. In this case, they had a lot of floral items too. So we have some very cute items of the kitties with flowers around their necks instead of collars. This one has a bunch of roses on a pretty like pastel pink backdrop. I'm obsessed, so I had to get something that had these floral textures on it. This one has one zipper, but it has two compartments. So there's a like more private compartment in the back. And then you have this see-through compartment and the front piece where you could put like some cute cute little pins or something if you wanted to turn this into a little Ita bag. It's really, really cute. This bag is more of your crossbody bag. And since it is the fox with the brown texture and the like corduroy background, I feel like this would be perfect for the fall. I know it's a long ways off, but by the time I actually edit these videos, who knows, it might be fall. So this is a crossbody bag. You can easily, easily wear this. And then it comes with this little strap to tighten your crossbody strap, which I appreciate. And the zipper goes from side to side. And when you unfold it, it's kind of like an accordion. So you can use it as a wallet. And I really, really like that design. It's so cute. I think my cell phone will fit in here. I really hope it does. Oh, good, it does, it fits. That makes me so happy. And just for reference, I have an S24 Ultra. So if you're watching this with an iPhone, you can definitely fit your iPhone in here too. This is a very cute crossbody bag. I love it. I also picked up a whole bunch of stickers and things like that from the Mofusan store. This was a freebie giveaway. It's just a little post-it note collection has Mofusan with like a half eaten donut on top of them, which is so cute. Of course we have some stickers. I really like collecting the stickers from the Mofusan store. They're all made very well. They're like high quality vinyl and they also look so cute on the back of laptops. These two especially are specifically sold, I believe, in the Tokyo Station store. So if you see any JR or like Shinkansen specific items that are sold in the Tokyo Station, usually those are limited edition. The Shiba Inu one is so cute and we also got a bunny. I did pick up some Mofusan items out of Gashapons. So this is a, just a little clip. Might be useful in my office, who knows? And currently there is a Mofusan Sanrio collaboration at time of recording. So this is just a little keyhole Holder, which features one of the Sanrio characters and Mofusan dressed with the little hat. There we go. So adorable. I love the glitter acrylic. I picked up a pair of socks from the Mofusan store with the kitty dressed in the Hello Kitty uh, beanie. Absolutely adorable. Love these. This sticker is so huge, but I really wanted it. It has Bad It's Maru. That's my best friend's favorite character. It has Hello Kitty, my favorite character. So just too cute. I love this travel sticker. Okay, this plushie that I saw in their Sanrio collaboration, I was obsessed with because it's so soft. They had all the other characters, including my favorite Hello Kitty, but I honestly thought the Bad It's Maru one was the cutest 
choice out of all the ones that they had of the kitty dressed up. So I got the Baditz Maru character and it's extremely, extremely soft and just such a cute little key holder. I love it. <laughs> Look at the little design on the logo tag. This is so cute. This key holder of the Takedo Shinkansen is absolutely precious. It's made out of acrylic. It says Tokyo and it's going to Shinagawa. Cutest thing ever. Absolutely love this. Oh, Look at that, it's so cute. I didn't even look at the back of it. That's absolutely me when passing Mount Fuji. <laughs> that is so cute. And last but not least, from the Tokyo Station Mofusan store, I already have the Conductor Mofusan plushie. So this time I went back and got a different plushie. I actually showed this to my friend. She was in the checkout line and I was still looking around the store and I saw this really cute Mofusan kitty dressed up as a Shinkansen, as a bullet train. And I was obsessed. I immediately like squealed when I saw it and I picked it up and I turned to my friend and I was like, Jen, look. And she looked at it and she just grabbed it out of my hand, <laughs> which luckily there were more than one. There were plenty of them available. And I just like cracked up because I was like, I had a feeling you would like this. So I, I'm so glad that I saw it before she checked out. So she was able to get one too. And I was able to get a cute little bullet train kitty. It's the most adorable thing ever and I love it, and it's my favorite item that I got from the Mofusan store. Okay, so that was everything from the Mofusan store, and then I got a few other little tchotchkes here and there. I wanted to give a shout out to Cincy Raz over on Instagram who gave me one of their stickers. I love this sticker and it is like, it's perfect for your personality. So thank you so much to Cincy Raz for giving me one of their stickers. I always try to give my stickers out to anybody who greets me in real life. So if somebody's like Sailor Snubs, I'm like, hi, here's a sticker. Thank you for the support. So it was really exciting to get my own sticker from a fellow Sailor Moon fan who happened to be in Tokyo at the same time as me. If you play Magic the Gathering, I know a lot of people don't, but there's a store in Osaka as well as I think there's one in Tokyo too. I haven't been to that one, but it's called Yellow Submarine and they had a ton of Magic cards. They had a lot of them. Some of them were really expensive. This pack was kind of pricey, but I'm also not buying packs of Magic cards very often. So this was actually my first pack that I purchased all on my own. I was very excited about it. So I love Doctor Who. I also love Magic the Gathering. So I got a Magic the Gathering blind bag of Doctor Who magic cards. If you're familiar with Doctor Who, you will know exactly what these are referencing, but all of them are in Japanese. Luckily, Google Translate is really good at translating magic cards, and it looks like there's a lot of green and blue in this blind box, which is great because my main commander for magic is Tatyova. So hopefully I can use some of these with my deck. I love this land card with the TARDIS. Oh my gosh. And it's foil. These are just so cool. I'm very impressed with the art and I absolutely love that they are all referencing things that happened in Doctor Who. There's a Dalek or different characters from the show. So all of these are really pretty and I love that a lot of the art goes to the edges too. There's so many foils in here. They're gorgeous, gorgeous cards, love them. I need to translate them though and make sure I know what they do. So the last item I wanted to show you today is a very, very cute Omamori, a little lucky charm that I picked up from a shrine. There's a shrine in Osaka. I will have to reference down below what the shrine is called because I don't remember off the top of my head, but they have really special Hello Kitty Omamori that you can only get at this shrine. So I decided to pick one up and it is precious. I love it so much. It's so cute. Absolutely love it. I don't even remember what this lucky charm is for. If it's for like traffic safety or good study habits or love or fertility. I don't, I don't even remember what it was for, but I'll have to look that up as well because these are so cute. I love being able to collect these Omomori charms. They're so cool. And that wraps up my entire Japan haul of non Sailor Moon items. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe down below. There's a little button right below this video. It's free. All you have to do is log in and subscribe. And if you have any questions about where to find these locations, if you have questions about how to get tickets for the Harry Potter tour or how to find the Mofu Sen store in the Tokyo station, let me know down below. I'm always more than happy to do like a navigational tutorial type video, but I won't do the non-Sailor Moon ones very often. If you haven't seen 
my unboxing and haul of all of the items that I got that are Sailor Moon specific from the most recent Sailor Moon Museum as well as the Sailor Moon store because I went to there as well in April, then definitely watch my video because I have a bunch of items that are just Sailor Moon that I'm including in a separate video. I filled up an entire suitcase. <laughs> yeah, I went hard. <laughs> I wasn't supposed to because I only did carry-ons this time, but it's hard. You go to Japan and you just want to buy everything. It's so bad. But with the yen the way that it is right now, your dollar can go farther. So the way I see it, I'm like, I'm traveling over there and I'm gonna buy things. And if that means I have to eat really inexpensive ramen and sushi, then I will. You don't gotta twist my arm more than once. <laughs> I'll do it. Hey, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe down below. And if you have questions about anything, make sure to comment those down below as well. I'm more than happy to answer any questions that you have. I appreciate you being here and I'll see you next time. Bye. Sayonara. Janne.